Hey friends, happy Monday. So as promised, here I am showing up for my weekly, my weekly Monday motivational pep talk book. I call it a little bit something different. <clears throat> it will now be called Monday Mindset Shift Motivation because at the end of the day, what we sh should strive to do in our lives is to shift our minds. So I'm just going to wait a second to let a couple people join. Hey, more Gavin love. Let me know where you're joining from. If you've joined me before, drop a crown. If you've never joined me before, I want you to drop me one of those little light symbols that I have underneath. If you have a phone that does that. And today I'm going to actually end this with a prayer because that's what I was called to do. But I have a word for y'all. Oh, hey, Queens, New York. Amazing. Amazing. I hope to get to see you at this brunch in New York City in December. So I'm just going to let a couple people join. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Let me know where you're joining from. Drop a crown if you've been with me before. Hey, CC Denise. If you've never joined me before, just drop a little light. Today we're just going to have a little mindset shift because um, this is what I strive to do every day for myself and for my clients, for those that I work with. Hey, Jeff. And, oh my gosh, Texas, Texas in the house, awesome, awesome, Dem Pro Inc., what is that, where are you joining me from, where are you joining me from, and I'm going to have to put on my glasses to read this prayer, y'all, y'all probably don't know I wear glasses because I hate them, <laughs> and I'm such a mindset person that I'm like, I'm going to make these eyes work. Like, if God can make miracles, God can get these eyes working for me. So, I don't wear these glasses often because I just don't like them. <laughs> I don't like glasses. I like using my own eyes. Hey, Lindsay. Jeff. Jeff's all the way in California. Jeff Faladin is amazing. I personally work with him. Definitely look him up as a coach. His podcast is amazing. Um, let me know where you guys are joining from. A crown if you joined me before. A... A little light sign if you've never joined me. Um, but today we're just going to have a mindset shift discussion because at the end of the day, every single day, Mr. Estrada, who is that? Ah, oh, Mr. Elefante, what is up? I actually had that hat on the other day. <laughs> but then I realized I'm not a hat girl. But if you make a hat that has a little pom-pom on top of it, kind of like this bun, I will buy it. I will buy it. I don't know. I don't want to make you go out of your brand guidelines, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so let me just jump into it because I don't want to be on her too long because I'm like, I got to go meditate because I want to end my day really strong and the higher I go, I actually have to implement way more mindset methods into my day. Like it just doesn't work to do it once a day. I strive to do it multiple times a day. So if you're just joining me, hey, 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 it's Monday Mindset Shift Motivation. So today I watched A Wrinkle in Time and if you have not seen it, please go watch it on um, Netflix. I know a lot of us aren't into the sappy movies, into like, it's a lot, there's kids in it, you know, so it's something you can watch with your kids if you have kids, however, if you don't have kids, I just read into everything, and this was such an amazing movie about the light and the darkness and how the two have to merge together to create unity and peace, and that's the same way that we are, that's the exact same way that we are, and actually embracing our light, it does take courage. It takes courage because we all have stories, we all have experiences, we all have things that we're telling ourselves through our subconscious mind. And if you follow my group where Queen's Chat, I've talked about that a long time ago and I call it your soundtrack. So that's like someone saying, what is your, um, what's your theme song? I bet all of us have theme songs that are like pumped, but the reality of your soundtrack is that actually a lot of our soundtracks are horrible. <laughs> they are messy, mushy music that is just telling us opposite of what we are, telling us opposite of our goals. And we can see that based on what we keep manifesting, right? What we keep manifesting is a highlight to what you really believe. And if we don't take heed to this, we'll never understand that. And we'll keep going in circles. We'll keep blaming it on people. And trust me, I get it. Finding your light and finding the light in the world, it can be cumbersome, right? There's there's levels to this. There's levels of saying no. There's levels of loving yourself. There's levels of, 
you know, letting people go. There's levels of, you know, getting over the, the, the things that you believe. It takes time. It takes time and it takes consistent work. And that's why so many of us run from it. And we want these overnight things to happen because we're not willing to commit to the time that it takes and the, the mindset work that it takes. Because when you have to sit down, and I get it. I talked about this the other day. I'm like, listen, I know we all went through school. And if you're anything like me, by the time I got to high school, I was tired. I was so tired of school, so just irritated with the process of the school system. So I get it. Writing every day, maybe you have bad memories <laughs> with school. Maybe you just hated writing. I don't know. But we need to be able to keep taking our our lives to these next levels and the only way that we're going to do it is how we talk to ourselves how we remind ourselves do you even know what your soundtrack is saying to yourself do you know what it means to embrace your light do you know what it means to find your light do you know what your light is do you think that means your passion right but it's your ability to shine through all of your experiences guys and I was just featured on a podcast today and, and I ended up getting into the depth and the story of being raped and held hostage over 12 years ago and I can talk about it with a smile because in after the experience one of the, the main thing that I did was I didn't allow that darkness to consume me guys so how many of us allow our darkness to consume us we allow the darkness of the world to consume us we allow what's happening in politics to consume us we allow the things that we see in the media and the, and the bad things that are happening to consume us and we're consumed with our own lives we're consumed what we get consumed with the darkness of failures we get consumed with the darkness of our parents and that's why healing is so important because healing you're healing for a lot of people, generations, right? It's so much bigger than you. So wrinkle in time, go see the movie. And one of the things that Oprah said in it, who that's my auntie. Hey, Victoria, I'm saying that right. Um, you know, is that it takes courage to keep finding your light. Hey, Michelle, it does. It takes absolute courage to keep finding your light, to show up in the world and to not be overcome by darkness. And that's what that movie portrays to me. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to say a prayer today. Hey, guys, I'm going to say a prayer today. And you could play this back, write it down. <laughs> I don't have it available anywhere, but I just was like, you know, the level of mindset work that it takes to continuously overcome the darkness and in this in that movie it showed the level of what it takes to overcome darkness and the main word was love loving yourself loving others especially the ones that are difficult <laughs> especially the people that tweet too much and say really stupid things and might be your president like it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of work to be able to look at things spiritual look at your life spiritually, to take yourself to those next levels and to stop thinking about the same things the same way. We call that insanity. Doing the same things the same way and expecting a different result. You might take tidbits from over here. Oh, Ebony says to journal and you do that once in a while. Oh, Ebony says to meditate. I do that once in a while. No, the greats, the people who are really serious and if you're serious about bringing out your light, just your light, your light, your joy, your happiness, your center, knowing who you are, when they say, you're, when, when we're told we're created in the image of God, how many of us really walk in that light? I can be honest that that's an evolution for me to be able to walk in that light, to show up here today and to just keep talking and having a word and not giving a shit what other people think or what someone else is going to think or the fact that I don't have makeup on or whatever, just showing up in my light. And the more that I do that, I find that I glow even more, that I just, I'm releasing all of these things that boggle us down in life. Please go watch that movie if you have not seen that movie, because one of the things that it, the darkness does is it tries to play on that person's subconscious mind, which is like, nobody likes you. Like, that's like, that's what your subconscious mind is doing. Nobody likes you. You're fat. Nobody cares what you have to say. You're never going to be successful. But then you're over here journaling saying, you know, I am successful. I am a millionaire. I am this. And your subconscious mind is like, no, you're not. <laughs> And it reprogram, reprogramming that is a lot of work. And I want people out there to understand that you need to dedicate yourself to it because that's why you're here on this life. You're here to unleash that potential, to unleash the highest characteristic of you. So I'm just going to have this prayer. This prayer is you could take it or leave it. I called it a prayer of light and peace. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can actually read this. 
I'm so happy. If you guys are joining me, if you're watching this on the playback, please say hi. Don't be rude. It's not nice. <laughs> Here we go. And then I'm going to leave you guys. But I want you to go to sleep. If you have watched this, this live is for you. This message is for you. And this is a prayer of light and peace because so many of us need more light in our lives. We need more peace because we're not giving ourselves even the opportunity to actually believe in things that bring us hope. We would rather believe in the things that are truthful. Those are called defining beliefs. If you have truth behind your beliefs and you say, well, people can't be trustworthy, trust, trusted and, you know, I'll never be successful because and I can't do that because I don't have money. And I that's it might be true. But if you know, like I know, God is way bigger than that. And sometimes you just need a little bit of faith and a little bit of hope, hope to get you leaps and bounds and mountains further than you ever thought you can go. And I know that as a fact. And so many of us have been through so much and we don't give ourselves credit. And we don't even allow the lightness to seep into those dark places. We allow the darkness to consume us. We allow it to consume us. So, go see that movie. Lots of love and light. Here's the prayer. Prayer of light and peace. Dear universe, today I come to you in surrender. I come to you not in seeking, but that you may remind me of an internal light that I must choose daily. May you assist me not in the pursuit of material, but in the pursuit of my highest, most divine mind. That you may send me reminders of this light and allow me the patience, knowing, and wisdom to embrace its truth. I am not my experiences, and I choose to understand that they are formulated for my highest good. I trust that I am infinitely loved, supported, and created to unleash this light so that I, too, may add to the light within the world. As I rise or lay my head, I pray for peace, light, and joy to flow through my darkest places. I will continue to pursue my own light as I grow in wisdom to understand the power I manifest through inner work. <laughs> and the church said, Amen. And this is a prayer. I'm like, you know what? I went to an amazing event this weekend and I always pray. I always do journaling and stuff like that. But I'm like, there's just, I'm just, I got to take it up a notch because I'm just going to start showing you guys the mindset things that I do. I have reminders for every hour of the day, affirmations. I'll be sharing an affirmation app that I use with you. Hey, amen. An affirmation app that I use with you, um, that I use. You'll, you guys will be able to download it in your own voice. It's so powerful, but we need to amp up these levels because darkness darkness y'all know how it is when them negative thoughts seep in like they're just like a domino effect of just like right and then your whole day is just messed up and then you're eating cake and donuts and gummy bears and you just don't know why and it's because the darkness consumes you and my mother gave me this the other day I'm just going to show it. Oh, it's backwards, but that's okay. But it says, you are radiant. You are radiant. We all have this amazing light that we are required to give and to show up as. And the more authentic we show up in that light and we release the stories, we release the, the, the shit, we release the, the stuff other people have told us, we release the failures, we release all the negative things we keep saying to ourselves on a daily basis. That's how we unlock our fullest potential. It's, it seems really difficult, but it becomes easier once you make it a practice and a ritual and a thing that you do every day, just like brushing your teeth, doing your little pretty hair, putting on your little pretty beat face, wearing, putting on your rings that you love, your beautiful clothes. Like those are daily habits that we have that we don't not do. Put on your deodorant, your, your daily habits, whatever your habits are. We have to take it to the next level and add that to our mindset because your mind is the most important thing that will get you anywhere. And if anything, it should bring you peace, love, and joy. So that's the message of the day. I love you guys so much. If you are looking to work with me, just make sure you hit that link in my bio. You can book a free 20-minute session with me. Um, you can sign up for my Meditation for Beginners course. That's amazing for people who just want to start. You can join me on Friday to get the meditation live with me. Um, Sunday. My Sunday Soul Chats every Sunday with powerful queens bringing you some amazing knowledge and wisdom. I'm here for you. I love you. I will keep showing up, spreading my light because it's my, it's my wish and it's my purpose that I may be a light in the world so others can see that they can be a light too. So as always, we're recognized real. Queens recognize queens. Have a great night, you guys. Bye.